We're going to talk now about that 13-year-old Alabama boy's incredible recovery. Doctors, doctors told Trent McKinley's parents their son was brain dead. His parents even signed the papers to donate his organs, but then they say a miracle happened. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with more. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Michael. There is one word that people involved in this story keep using to describe it, miraculous. One of the trauma surgeons told us the teen's heart stopped for 15 minutes. The doctors believe there was nothing else they could do. That's when the family says there was a divine intervention. This morning, an incredible ordeal turned astounding turnaround for an Alabama boy thought to be dead, now back from the brink. The 13-year-old suffered a devastating injury back in March while playing at a friend's house. Trenton McKinley was sitting in a trailer, much like this one, attached to a dune buggy being driven by his friend when his friend suddenly hit the brakes, causing the trailer to flip. And I hit the concrete and the trailer landed on top of my head. After that, I don't remember anything. After being rushed to the hospital, doctors delivered horrible news to the teen's parents. Trenton had seven skull fractures, and he needed not one, but two surgeries to remove part of his skull. Expected to never make a recovery, Trenton was declared brain dead. He was dead a total of 15 minutes. Um, when he came back, they said he would never be normal again. Um, they told me the oxidation problems would be so bad to his brain that he would be a vegetable, even if he made it. Clinging to life after surgery, his parents were preparing for the unthinkable reality that their son would never wake up and began the heart-wrenching process of actually donating his organs. Five kids needed organs that matched him, and it was unfair to keep bringing him back. Um, because it was just damaging his organs even more. Trenton's parents signed the paperwork and began preparing to take their son off life support the following day. But that's when, incredibly, Trenton showed signs of life, his brain flickering aware. The younger patients tend to have more plasticity, more ability to rewire and other parts of their brain to pick up the slack of the parts of the brain that are no longer working. Slowly but surely, Trenton is defying all odds since his accident. He's a miracle. And he just amazes everybody. No other explanation but God. There's no other way that I could have came back. Even the doctor said. Trenton is now home. And clearly one thing that's still intact is his sense of humor. I said I could turn my, my head sideways and put salsa in there <laughs> and eat chips and dip out of my head. You're a man. No more washing dishes for me. <laughs> Still got that sense of humor. Uh, the hospital says that Trenton arrived on March 9th and began to show signs of cognition within the next 48 to 72 hours. And you heard Trenton say there is no explanation, no other explanation. but God. And he said that even the doctors told him that. So. I know. Amazing. It was. I was so happy for him to continue to make that recovery. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.